All right, so as I said, um, previously we got to understand the bigger picture of everything that we are doing. Okay, so, so our journey, our path is to leading us to become a full stack data scientist, right? And we need to know what are the things that entails or, or what are the things that we need to do in order to become a full stack data scientist. So we got to understand that data science actually contains artificial intelligence, right? And inside artificial intelligence, we have machine learning, we have deep learning, then we have computer vision and natural language processing, as well as some other um, specializations that you can find when it comes to um, in artificial intelligence. All right, so let's revise of the bigger picture that we earlier on saw, right? So that we will bring ourselves up to speed as we move to a new um, dimension altogether, right? So we first started with machine learning and then we got rid of that, right? And then we also said that we're going to focus on deep learning. And inside deep learning, we say that we will first treat computer vision. And then after that, we treat natural language processing, all right? And then we put all of them together, which will form our data science journey to be complete, all right? So in deep learning, we say that we have two main areas that we're going to focus, as we've talked about earlier on, which is computer vision and natural language processing. Okay, and then we also saw some applications of these two specializations, all right? So we say that in computer vision, you're going to mainly work on images and videos, all right? And then in natural language processing, you're going to work on text and then audio, all right? So um, in our previous tutorial, we've seen quite a lot of um, computer vision and the applications and some projects as well, right? And now we're going to see how we work on text and then uh, audio. Right, moving forward. Okay, so we first um, treated some crucial concept in deep learning, which you need before you move on to natural language processing. So everything that we have discussed so far in deep learning is going to be very crucial when we, I mean, get started with natural language processing. Okay, so um, moving forward, we're going to start with natural language processing. Okay, and natural language processing, as I mentioned earlier on, is one of the crucial aspects or one of the crucial areas that you need to know when it comes to becoming a full stack data scientist. And in fact, um, natural language processing is, is having a wide range of applications in every um, industry out there, right? So if you want to have a job in, I mean, data science, it's, it's quite crucial to have a natural language processing skills, right? Which we shorten to NLP. Right, it's very crucial to have that skills because um, test every almost every data points is having a test in it, which you need to process, and you need the skills of NLP to do that. All right, and that's why it's very important. Even if you want to become a computer vision engineer, you still need to understand um, certain concept of natural language processing in order to help you um, do well in, in your computer vision um, journey. Right, so this is a crucial skill, regardless of which domain you want to specialize, whether computer vision or natural language processing itself. You still need to understand some crucial concept in natural language processing. All right, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to mainly focus on dealing with test and uh, audio. Okay, all right, so if you're ready, then let's write.